Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. Got some awesome community posts for you this week. Also, just a heads up, Past Summit 2020 is this week as well. Patrick and I will be doing two sessions at the Past Summit. We'd love you to join us. I'll have a link down in the description below for you to go find out more. Also, keep your eye on the Power BI blog this week for potential announcements. Hmm. All right, let's get into this. Amit Chandok's got a blog just with a collection of links that are just great to have readily available. These span across the Power BI product and include things like YouTube channels, just resources for Power BI, documentation, and also where you can go to get help. So like support, things of that nature. It's just a great list. If you're new to Power BI, this is great to understand. But if you've been around the block for a while, Maybe some of these things you're just not aware of, or you just don't have a bookmark yet. Now is your chance. So go check that out in the description below for a collection of those links you should be bookmarking. What have you been doing on your Saturday mornings? I know you've been hanging out with Patrick and I in our live streams every Saturday morning like a pro. But did you know Marco Russo has been putting out DAX puzzles on Twitter every Saturday morning? It's actually the first thing I look at when I get up in the morning on Saturday. I go check out the puzzle that he's posted on Twitter. And what I love about these is they're really consumable. You don't need a big demo or repro file or database to go do this. He simplified it in terms of the repro itself, but the puzzles are anything but simple. I definitely recommend you check these out to push your DAX knowledge to the next level. The link I've got for this one is just a video with him recapping it. The idea though is go on Twitter, check out the puzzle, don't open Power BI Desktop and just see if you can solve it. If you think you've got it, then go into Power BI Desktop to validate it to see if you were right and then look for Marco's explanation. Easy as that. Links down in the description below, along with links to all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items, so go check it out. Wolfgang Strasser's got a blog looking at your data lake. So typically with data lakes, they're in a file structure. So you get directories, files, things of that nature. And when you're pulling that data or working with that data inside of Power BI, sometimes it's really large and you want to go the direct query route or have some combination of direct query and import. Maybe it's an AGS table, who knows? But the actual Azure data lake storage connector doesn't support direct query. So Wolfgang walks you through how you can use Azure Synapse Analytics on top of your Azure data lake to actually get direct query capabilities. Just word of caution, right? Direct query, we've always talked about it here on Guy in a Cube. If you're doing direct query, chances are you're gonna hit performance problems. So just be mindful of that. I like that Wolfgang actually calls out as well, your file structure in Azure Data Lake storage is really important to get right as well. So check out the blog post if this is something you're interested in or something you're, you're looking to go after. John Weiss got a blog post looking at data limits from a application insight or log analytics perspective from an Azure side. So the limit in question is this 500,000 row limit. And how do you get past that if you're trying to pull data from Power BI for a large amount of data? This could even be for a very small window, depending on what you're doing with log analytics. This is really important on the Power BI side as the feature of the Azure Monitor integration or bring your own log analytics account from a Power BI perspective comes into play and allows you to actually dump di you know, metrics data from Power BI into log analytics and you wanna query on that. So bookmark this blog if that's something you're gonna be looking into or if you're working with log analytics today and you've hit that, check out this blog post. John's got you covered in a solution to get you past it. We got the Paginated Report November 2020 update blog. So this is Power BI Premium. This is premium per user. There were a couple of great things in this blog post. First off, there are some new samples available for Paginated Reports. So if you want a good starting point or a good example of how you can do Paginated Reports, go check out these samples. The other thing I thought was really cool is if you have a data set published in Power BI, you can now download an RDL file it's a blank starting point for paginated reports that already has the connection information set up for that data set. That is really cool for getting started with paginated reports. There are other items in this blog post as well, so definitely make sure you go check those out as well. 
All right, I want to hand this over to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.